Hello, my good friend. Welcome to Inspired Literary Works. I'm author and blogger Stephanie Renee Sinclair. I'm so glad you found your way to this podcast. I invite you to visit my blog at www.inspiredliteraryworks.com. Inspired Literary Works is a Christian-based blog that offers encouragement for your life challenges. I aim to create content that is motivating and targeted to help you discover your life's purpose. You're welcome to follow this podcast and subscribe to the blog. I also encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can receive post updates. The content that will be shared here will be the same content that is posted on the Inspired Literary Works blog. So if you prefer listening versus reading, I will make both options available. Today's encouragement post is, Your purpose and destiny are revealed through your challenges. Congratulations, you've made it through another year. If you had a successful year, you have something to be grateful for. If you had a challenging year, you also have something to be grateful for. You may ask, why do I think having challenges should cause you to be grateful? Well, if you're still living, despite of personal failures and disappointments, your level of strength courage, and perseverance was revealed. Change your mind about your challenges. I spoke to a dear friend the other day to wish her a happy new year. During our conversation, she complained about many things that she thought was going wrong in her life. Every time she complained about something, I quickly checked her. I reminded her about the previous years of her life, her struggles, and the number of blessings God allowed to come into her life. She thinks that her current situation is not ideal, but I informed her about other people's situations that are worse. I also reminded her that she was still sane after all she had been through. If you can go through devastating challenges and still know who you are and where you are, you have something to be grateful for. Many people have experienced the same type of challenges you have dealt with, but they did not make it. You may have encountered some tough days, but remember, everyone had something they had to deal with that was either shocking or unexpected. The beginning of 2015, my mother had a stroke. What seemed to be a minor setback turned into a huge hurdle I had to push through every day. Since I am her only child, the responsibility of managing her personal care, home care therapy sessions, and medical appointments fell on my shoulders. Be flexible with your purpose. Although I had experience in helping to take care of my late grandmother, my role as primary caregiver for my mother was a challenge I initially thought would be over within a few weeks. However, as time went on, I realized that my mother's condition was challenged to the point where she needed to depend on me as if I were her mother. I was used to my mother's youthful energy and desire to remain committed to her church duties. After decades of foregoing her higher educational goals, she took advantage of the opportunity to pursue her associate's degree at the age of 68. 
Although her educational plans were interrupted, she did her best while she was able to attend. She also took advantage of the opportunity to minister to elderly patients at a local nursing home. My mother's dedication to her church service roles over the last 40 years reminded me of the scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 that says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. In essence, this verse is saying, when you have your strength, regardless of your age, choose to do whatever God has called you to do. Some people waste their time seeking other people's approval before they can attempt to start working on the assignments God has given them. If you're one of these individuals, decide that you will start working on the project or mission that God has placed on your heart before it's too late. You may be a little hesitant about your ability to fulfill your role, but God will lead you toward resources that will help you get the job done. When my mother was in the hospital and I realized that her condition would take some time for her to recover, I began to doubt my ability to handle the task I was unexpectedly given. As the days and weeks went on, God gave me the grace, strength, and wisdom to coordinate doctor appointments, meals, therapy sessions, personal attendant care, and other matters successfully. God also allowed one of my best friends from college, Teresa, to come back into my life six months prior to my mother's stroke. Teresa helped me and stayed committed to lending her assistance as though my mother was her mother. You may think that your purpose has to be called upon only for situations that you feel are important. Your thoughts may be focused towards your job, community, volunteer position, or some other attractive platform. Contrary to these ideal situations, your physical strength, emotional, or financial support may be requested for jobs from the king that are not as appealing as other spotlight gigs. It takes a lot to remain committed to assignments where you may not get the recognition or appreciation you deserve. But Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 says, Whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Increase your strength and move toward your goals. The car accident I was involved in back in 2008 injured my back. As a result, I can't do a lot of things. The struggle I endured physically, financially, and emotionally equipped me to handle my mother's situation. You may think that the situation you're dealing with right now is too much to bear, but you must realize that you do have what it takes to make it. You must also realize that your journey of triumph will be someone else's support system in the future. When you need extra encouragement to give you the mental and spiritual strength to overcome your challenges, a summons for champion strength is an excellent resource. I have provided a list of scripture verses that are specifically targeted about strength. It's called Daily Scripture Fitness Plan. After reading this list of verses out loud, you will feel empowered and mentally refreshed. Sometimes we can feel defeated when we constantly think about our failures and disappointments. Now you don't have to wait for someone to encourage you 
because you can help yourself move beyond the weight of problems when you choose to shake off the dust. If you don't make a conscious effort to move toward resources that will help you achieve your goals, you will remain stuck on the steps of stagnation and bitterness. When you face your challenges with a mindset that your outcome will be better than the process, you can become the type of entrepreneur, student, wife, mother, husband, business professional, sister, brother, friend, or leader that you want to be. Change starts within, and when you shift your mind from focusing on others who you think need to change but won't change, you can begin moving towards your destiny of success at a faster momentum. 2015 may have been a year of revelation regarding who your true friends are, but take it as a lesson to stay true to yourself regardless of what anyone else does. At the end of your life, you want to be confident that you did your best and treated others the best during your journey. Have a blessed beginning of the year. If you've enjoyed today's encouragement post, I invite you to purchase a copy of my book, A Summons for Champion Strength, which is available on Amazon for $3.99 for the ebook version, or you can download it for free if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription. A print version is also available if you prefer paperback books. This book is based on the life of Jephthah, one of the unsung heroes in the book of Judges. I wrote about his struggles, triumphs, and journey to leadership. I also shared my testimony of surviving a near-fatal auto accident, my recovery challenges, and survival methods. In this book, I have also included a daily scripture fitness plan which is a list of scripture verses that are based on strength. Champion progression charts and victory record templates are also available for you to write down your prayer requests, answers to prayer, and personal development progress. When spoken out loud every day, as a part of your daily devotion, you will be encouraged and motivated to push through the challenges you're facing with confidence that you will become a champion who is able to help others overcome their challenges. I also have another book called Targeted Bible Verses. This ebook is a handy resource you can use during your daily devotion. If you struggle with finding verses on finances, healing, peace, protection, salvation, strength, or wisdom, this reference ebook can help you. You can use the verses to declare God's promises and blessings over yourself, family, and situations. You can also use it as a witness tool to lead others to Christ. This book is available for 99 cents and it's free if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription. You can access these books by clicking on the links in this podcast description. I also want to inform you about Inspire Teawear, my inspirational t-shirt collection. I personally designed these shirts to spark interest in inspiring others to witness about Christ and to live a better life. The thought-provoking messages are unique, socially relatable, and encouraging. These shirts are ideal for individual witnessing or team witnessing for church or ministry groups. Inspire Teawear offers short sleeve tees, long sleeve tees, hoodies, toques, mugs, smartphone cases, face masks, and other accessories. You're welcome to browse the collection by clicking on the link in this podcast description. 
I invite you to subscribe to this podcast and follow Inspired Literary Works on Facebook, Twitter at srene1481, Pinterest, and Instagram, and share the encouragement post. You're also invited to visit my Life Management Tips blog, Streamlined Life Solutions at www.streamlinedlifesolutions.com. Until next time, rise above adversity and choose the option to live.